Thank you. Hi, everyone. Whoa, that was loud. Okay. So, invisible. Sounds a bit like invincible. But let's talk about invisible. I would like to invite you to a story, a story about passion, a story about creativity, or finding the perfect solutions. It's a story of actually doing what some people say is impossible, is turning the visible invisible. Hi, I'm Robert. So, we're here together to make a submarine disappear. It all begins with 62 meters something long, 7 meters wide, and about 2,000 tons of steel. It's a submarine, so the obvious thing is to hide visually. Dive. Then you're done. Fait compli. Not really. People looking for submarines are very persistent. They stay for days looking for you. So you need to stay below the surface for weeks. That's okay, because then you bring out your air independent systems that you have had operational for over 20 years. That was a no-brainer, that was easy. Now we can stay down for weeks. Next thing, people actually listen for you. You have to stay very quiet. Okay. The sea and the water in the sea is the perfect conduit for sound. Actually, sound can travel like a laser beam between salt layers in the sea. Okay. How do we keep 30 hardworking people, over 100 systems, and the combined computer power of an underground command and control center quiet? The easy way, put in silent computers, put in silent pumps, ask the people working in the sub to be silent. Where's the elegance in that? Where's the search for perfection in a solution like that? I ask of you to imagine that you're on a train station. When you're on a train station, you can actually hear the train long before you see the train. Where do you hear the train? From the tracks. Sound travels very fast in steel as in water. So here you have the train running on the tracks with its steel wheels, transmitting the sound into the track. Picture that steel wheel. Replace it with a rubber wheel. Silent. Total isolation. That is what you do with a submarine. You actually build the entire submarine outside of the hull. It's like building a house with no outer walls. When the submarine is built, you actually lift it inside the hull, mounted completely on rubber mounts. Total isolation, the rubber wheel. Okay, so now we have a submarine that can be below the surface for weeks. We have total isolation. It is very quiet. Are we done? We need something to withstand that. We need the toughest hull that we can imagine. For that, we need super hard steel. And steel left untreated, a compass, a red submarine. <laughs> you have to treat the submarine because it affects the Earth's magnetic fields. This is where you have to bring out your engineering, your researchers, your scientists. To counteract this, the basic principle is well known. You basically put an electromagnet inside the hull, counteracting the effects of the hull. But it's not that easy. Again, I imagine you, I ask of you to imagine, you're asked to stand in front of a creek, a flowing water, very crystal clear water, but it's running quite fast, and you can see the bottom of the creek. Then you're asked to step into the creek. 
the water starts to splash around your feet. You can no longer see the bottom of the creek. You're asked to design footwear that enables you to stand in the water with absolutely no effect on the water. And you can. You can design, and we have designed, a submarine that can live in coexistence with the Earth's magnetic field. That is truly amazing. But we're not done. There are several other signature management aspects of a submarine to disappear. You have galvanic corrosion. You have equipment turning on and off. You even have swirls from the propeller. And if you don't take care, you even have heat signatures that can be detected. There are even signature management techniques that are so secret we can't even talk about them here today. But by now, by taking a holistic approach, you can actually make a submarine disappear, but then you have, by now you have 1,000 scientists, engineers, hardworking, skilled workers making this one disappear. Are we done then? Well, people start to look for you. As I said, water, uh, sound travels very fast in water. And if you eject sound, the echo will go back and might reveal where you are. This is where you pull out all the stops. You start to cooperate with dolphins. The dolphins are the kings of interpreting the echo of something. They generate sound and they get back the echo to determine fish, friend, foe, object. If you with your team, together with the dolphins, can create a fish, a 62 meter long fish, that the dolphins have a hard time detecting, then you're approaching the ultimate design of not only being invisible, but also undetectable. And have you come that far? Then, then you belong to people like us at Saab. You can see the invisible and thereby enabling, creating what people think is impossible. Thank you.